For today's workout, I'm trying five cable exercises. And make sure you stay until the end of the video because I'm going to rate each individual exercise towards its effectiveness and if I would ever place it inside of a Warrior Bay program. Let's go. So this first exercise, we're gonna do an elevated cable pull through squat. Four sets, 10 reps. That's hard. <laughs> Definitely a unique setup. <sighs> Talk about a, uh, a different kind of like mind to muscle engagement and burn. That was felt. <laughs> I'll go a little bit heavier next time. Shit. <laughs> Talk about also like keeping proper balance with that. Cause you got the weight pulling from the back and then you gotta try and keep the balance onto the legs. Maybe a leg day, but it's a full body workout it feels like. So this next one is still elevated too as well. So I've never done this like elevated concept to these types of exercises. We're gonna do four sets of 10 reps with an elevated cable pull through RDL. Let's test it out. Woo! Talk about a hamstring stretch. The elevation totally makes that more effective. Okay, not too bad. I'm gonna increase my weight though, because I felt that was too light. I'm not feeling the burn as much as I would like to feel the burn that I would normally feel if I was doing a Warrior Bay workout. And like the, the, the mental challenge of like the weight aspect maybe gets more challenging. Maybe this is just more like mental and connection to like connecting with the form. I don't know. I prefer to push heavy weight. And this isn't really allowing me to push heavy weight. I prefer to get on a light press, under a barbell, pull in some deadlifts. So there's that. So because I'm not feeling super challenged here, I would go and do a barbell hip thrust. Because this is working your glutes and your hamstrings so I can get underneath of a barbell on my waist and I could push some weight with a barbell hip thrust more than I'm being able to push here. Next up, we've got a cable sumo front squat. Four sets, 10 reps. that better than a barbell it's easier to hold than a full barbell does and a lot of people complain about the barbell causing pain on like their shoulder blade or their shoulders or it's uncomfortable to hold it here so that's a good modification let's increase the weights go big or go home 100 pounds it seems so light in comparison to on a cable machine than to a barbell Yeah, not bad, I'm definitely feeling it now. Definitely got a little bit of a leg pump going. Moving on. All right, you guys, before we get to the next exercise, I just wanna interrupt this workout right now. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are interested in the Warrior Bay VIP program, check out the links in the description below. Let's get back to it. All right, changing it back out. Next up, we got like a quarter of a donkey kick or like you can call it a partial donkey kick. And we're gonna do four sets, 10 reps on each leg. I've never done it in this stance before, right? I'm gonna get down on my knees and then kick back. Usually I do like kickbacks like this. And I would think that like a half kickback would just kind of be like maybe like right here and kicking back. <laughs> no way. What the fuck? 
Okay, so this is how I would do it. <laughs> Standing. That's definitely hard. There's part of me that's convinced that the first few exercises were, were just like warming up and more of the isolation work. I feel like this is more challenging because the muscle is just consistently under attention the entire time. Um, and it just seems like the workout's getting harder, which makes sense. Let's see what the last exercise is. So this last exercise is going to be a cable pull through with a rope. So I'm gonna change out the attachments and we're gonna do four sets, 10 reps. That's a wrap. That concludes a leg day. What I would call a hamstring and glute day. So let's start off with rating the first exercise, which was an elevated cable pull through squat. In my opinion, I would rate that like a four out of 10. I would rather get myself underneath the barbell and just do a normal squat. The second exercise was a elevated cable pull through RDL. I would rate this one as well, a four out of 10. I would rather just have a barbell in my hand and doing a normal RDL. Third exercise was a cable sumo front squat. I would rate this one a solid nine out of 10. That was a solid exercise. I would love to use that in place of anything that was like a barbell front squat because of the comfortability of the bar sitting on the shoulder. The fourth exercise were those half partial rep donkey kickbacks. I modified it to a standing position rather than a knee position. I would rate that one a solid like eight out of 10 because when you can get the form right and if you modify it to the standing position, in my opinion, you could feel that resistance on the muscle really well. And then the last exercise was the rope cable pull through. Honestly, I would rather just get underneath of a barbell and do a barbell hip thrust for this one. That one, I just kind of felt like I was going through the motions. In my opinion, I would rate that like a four out of 10. But all in all, that was fun trying something new. I love expanding my mind into other exercises, other type of workout styles. If you guys are interested in having a workout put together for you, but also so much more when it comes to your entire fitness journey, then check out warriorbabe.com. The link is in the description below.